So Andrew, how are your dodgeball skizzles? Amazing. Amazing? I mean, I'm like... Qu quick and fast. Yeah. Agile. Well, you know what they say. What? If you can dodge a Brillo pad, you can certainly dodge a ball. What? Oh! 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 Hi, I'm Corey Amato. I'm okay. And I'm Andrew Cawthorn. Yeah. And this is Matchup. Here's our act pack for the day. Plan 9 does these in-store performances that we just love. This week they hosted Hot Lava CD release party. Don't know Hot Lava? How about 90s pop with sort of an electro trippy thing going on too? These guys are having a lot of fun making music and it shows. We enjoyed their performance and then cornered them on the stairs. Alright, we're here at Plan 9 for the release of Hot Lava's Loveology. We're here for the in-store, we're going to talk with the band, a lot of fun stuff happening. Hot Lava set. Before Jared joined the band, he used to say that it sounded like a mashup, no pun intended, of Blondie and Rudell. I don't know how accurate that is now. I kind of hope that we sound like the 90s, maybe, because I just really like the 90s. Well, I was, um, right when I started the band, I was with my friend Bill, and we were in my kitchen that had a tiled floor, and we were drinking a beverage, and you know, beverage that you like to think of, and we were trying to step on our tiles and not have it spill to Hot Lava. It was like the children's game. Is that? Well, that's not a good story. <laughs> children's game, hot lava. That's where it came from. But uh, Al, I mean, I like real Allison's song a lot. And then, so half of it's like old songs. Yeah, Allison like half are really old. Half are new. And that's what we call it. Lavaology. It's like an anthology, <laughs> lava anthology. How do you guys feel about the Richmond music scene? It's cool. Yeah, I, I like it. It's good. It's, it's good. Uh, I think. For a long, long time, Matt, you think people were, you think people were apathetic for a long time? It's not, 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 you know. Oh yeah, I mean, mm -hmm. they still are, but there's, you know, small pockets of good things happening everywhere. I mean, all kinds of things happening. So, who's your favorite, Andrew? Uh, I guess I would have to say most of the bands that I like in there are too Which leaves a pocket, just like the economy, one, two, three, Allison, or not? Um, I don't think we're in a recession where music is concerned, but, um, I really like Phil and the Firefly, they're not broken up. There's a, there's a lot of good stuff still going on here. I want you guys to plug your new album, What You Just Buy. We worked really hard on it over two, over two years. <laughs> I mean, I like it. <laughs> Well, all these pretty good. You're here the blue album, but we Oh, man, it's, it's almost that good. <laughs> <laughs> it's worth money instead of downloading. I think it's you okay to download. download it from <laughs> <long>. <laughs> oh, I just like to apologize. <laughs> uh, all over the place. That's us. The new CD is called Loveology, and it's full of that surf rock, aggressive pop, acid sound you missed at Plan 9. Luckily for you slow starters though, Hot Lava is playing next Wednesday at 7 at Galley 5 with Monotnix, Snack Truck, and Amoeba Men. Sure, you can miss hearing Hot Lava again, but why would you? I mean, really. Seriously though. Why? So, Matchup agreed to play in the Chick-fil-A Dodgeball Tournament. Not because we're great athletes, because we're not. Well, okay, possibly Bridget is, but that's not even a point. Because 100% of the sponsor funding goes directly to Richmond's Partnership for the Future and the Schools for Niger Africa Fund. Isn't that a mouthful? With the tournament coming up, we decided it was time to get our sorry asses in training. Captain Bridget took us through our paces. All right, team, we've got the dodgeball tournament coming up, Chick-fil-A. I love waffle fries! Yeah. Yeah. I think we've got a long way to go with for some training. Catch though. up on them. You guys mm -hmm. ready? Monster. All right, come
The tournament is Saturday, October 25th at the Greater Richmond Convention Center. We opted to play in the Adult Amateur Division. Okay, well, we had no choice but to play in the Amateur Division. I mean, did you see Corian training? The organizers are hoping to raise $185,000 this year. So come out and cheer us on, or at least until we immediately lose and are out of the running. Today's featured poster is the third annual Batizado Show and Folk Fest After Party this Saturday, October 11th at Capitol Ale House downtown. A night dedicated to the music of Brazil, featuring live music with Soul Brazil, DJ Leo, and Capoeira Show from 9 p.m. to 2 a.m. Tickets are $10 in advance and 12 at the door. Come do it Brazilian style. Andrew. Yeah. Andrew. We work hard. We do. I think we work really hard. We have to do things. Rough, tough things that not the average person would want to do. Yeah, like drinking from a boot. Exactly. I mean, really, who wants to drink from a boot? Well, we actually no, did we want to drink from a boot. But that's not even the point. The point is, you should come back Tuesday. Mm -hmm. Why? Beer. Beer. And drinking. And drinking. From a boot. I'm Corey Amato. And I'm Andrew Cawthorn. And yeah, that was a good boot. Das Boot. So Mashup agreed, my voice, I just hit puberty on camera. It's so funny how that happens. The same thing happened to the kid on Who's the Boss. Practice though. Practice though, come on. Ow! How are your dodgeball skills? Skizzles? Um, well, not yet. Yeah, I can dodge it. This is when you throw it. Not that low. <laughs> A little bit closer to his face. It'd be really great if you would just hit him in the face. Try that real quick. You missed! Maybe we should go for the chestal area, not so much the neck and head. Well, you know what they say, if you can dodge a Brillo bat, not yet. <laughs> Ball. What? You missed again. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it really does. There you go. Perfect. Perfect. 